like I said, this thing you just cannot seem to find the carburetor for it. Like all kinds of fun. Let's get this off first. So, now we got the hood off. Let's go on in here. We have this carburetor here that uh, is obsolete. Can't find it anymore. So, I'm going to see what I can do here about putting another carb on. We'll get back to it. How's that for getting you right in there? Get you right in there so you can see what I'm doing. We are going to replace this car one way or another. Don't care about the clamp. I'm just going to push that right off of there. Okay, I think I should pull the top of this car first to see what I can do. Without getting it out of the way. It's only got two screws in it yet. As I was saying, this carburetor is obsolete. You cannot buy it anymore. And everything is weird about the other carburetors. Like this choke mechanism works backwards here. So it's got a reverser here. I gotta see if I can fit that on the other carburetor first. I don't know if I can or not, but we're going to see what we can do about that. And this way I'm just pulling the top first. Can I get in there? Ooh, I can't get in there. Oops, not with that one. How about with this one? Dang, it's tight to get in there. I'm in there. Maybe. Yes. Okay, so we got this little reverser mechanism off of here. And we'll see if it fits another carburetor. As, it, as usual, we're moving all over the place here. Okay, this will be a quick shot here. I just want to move this over here. And the reverser thing works on this carburetor. But of course, the air filter won't. So, we'll see what we can do with that later. But that works. Okay, so I decided that instead of... There's a few ways to do this. You can wrench all this off. You can wrench this off which is the points cover if you take the front off you can get in there and take this points out of the way and slide all this out well what I do is I just loosen up the manifold and I flip it up you know so I can get to that one screw like so and I wrench that screw out of here and then I can flip it the other way And I'll get the other screw out of there. Instead of tearing this engine all apart, this is what I found the better method of doing it. Just flip it and flop it. There we go. The manifold gaskets weren't terrible. I might be able to reuse them or order set or something the carb gasket was good but I have one of them already so now we go to the bench with all this stuff so now we're on the bench I like to sit got my stool okay so this is 
the new carburetor that is supposed to fit. And like I said, I got this to work. I had to shorten that little linkage rod. This is supposed to fit in there. Uh, that doesn't look so good. And even, let's see the size of the hole. Yeah, even the hole is bigger. So this is a brand new carburetor I ordered from wherever that the advertise is supposed to fit this tractor. Well, now this one here has the same size hole in the bottom, but the bolts are different. This one here, same thing, same size hole. I have a carburetor issue here. I'm going to have to figure out, so I'll get back to you on that one, too. Okay, so on the back of this carburetor here, the original carb is the only one I can use. So the plate that goes on here is all warped. So I have a nice piece of aluminum in the vise here. I'll draw it out. Now I have to punch it so I can drill the two holes in it. Now I'm going to make a new plate for this thing. About that size. Yeah, we got money. I got a transfer punch. And I'll show you what I got here. Here's the delivery plate. I hope that's in the camera good. And now I have transfer punched and I have drawn it out. So I'm going to cut this out. And I'm just going to put a fitting in there for the host to go in. And that will feed the carburetor since uh, this wood is all warped and messy I can do that okay so I made up this piece here that will replace the plate that goes over here that big hole in the center is gonna get a fitting in it with a barb fitting on it to hook the fuel line up to and I threaded that with a pipe tap so we got this nice thick plate now that's that's not going to go anywhere okay we'll get back to this more so we're back to this onan carburetor again i just got a, another total rebuild kit in the mail the last rebuild kit i got the seat was misthreaded well i finally got one that's threaded right and so New needle and seat, another new gasket. Okay, I got the float in the mail, must be from China. Um, the solder wasn't very good. It actually fell apart before I even got it straightened out. But it was crooked and bent, and it wasn't really a good fit, so I had to do some bending. Uh, let's see, I'll show you what we got here. I'm gonna get it hooked first. There's two little hooks there, and get it in them. Now, you want the floats to be kind of level to the top of the carb. And we're pretty darn close there, and not bad. That one's a little high yet, but I can fix that. A little, in here. a little push down. Let's see what that looks like. It actually went too far, but now we're kind of like in the center. Let's see. How's that? Yeah, we're pretty good there. Okay. So the float is installed. And, of course, this plate I had to make. The old one is a very thin, hollowed out. And the inlet goes through the bottom. And then this was actually made. You could put a fuel pump on there. Here's a fuel pump rebuild kit. But... I don't need that on this model because we have a fuel pump on the side of the engine. So this is basically a plate. The fuel came in here and then it went through a chamber and back up through into there. So I just put my inlet there in the top. So we are going to put this thing back together here. Oh, I got to make a linkage rod yet. That's right. I better go get some stuff to make a linkage rod first. Okay, we're back. So, as I explained, on the float, I also found out that I lost a screw. But, 
on the float, I had to do all that bending. Well, since I snagged this off of this carburetor and tried it on another carburetor, I messed with the rod a little bit and shortened it. So now, I had to make a new rod to go in here. I think it'll go in there. Okay, a little tight, but that's fine. And then this goes back down here. That's a reverser for the uh, choke. On, off. Yes, that's good. So, let's put this baby together and give it a little test. And then we will throw it on the tractor and see how I made it out. We had leaks, we had flooding problems, we had everything going on with this tractor. I'm hoping that this is like the end of the issues. This was giving me all kinds of troubles. I think we're, our troubles are just about over now. So what I'm gonna do, I'll tighten that last screw later. I'm gonna blow in here. And it seals when you flip it. So that means that I think I've made progress. Definitely made some kind of progress. So, this is the last screw going in here, and once I get this in, it's going back on the tractor. I rebuilt the rest of the carburetor last time. So, uh, this time it was just a float, and the rest, it looks like it's all in there tight. Okay, let's go to the tractor. Okay, now, we have a good gasket on there yet. Let's get in here like that. Let's flip this over so I can get this screw. And I notice flips in there. These are so tight, it's unbelievable for such an old engine how they made this so tight to get into. Usually it's new stuff that's tight to get into. You know, not in this case, it's painting on it. Oh, we gotta do it. Hmm, wrong screws. It's yeast, you dummy. It's those two. Okay, slow that one. Put this one in. Can't see the hole, but you think we're in it? Not sure. It's doing something. Okay, so we're getting there. I may do some of this off camera just so it's no, not, you know, so tedious. But basically, I gotta put that in there. I gotta run the fuel line over through here and put the manifold back on. I'll get back to you. Okay, so it is all hooked up again. Got the throttle, got the choke, and got the new fuel line going in to my new fitting. Now, I'm gonna move you back just a little bit. And we'll see if this thing runs. Yeah, I hope so. And I hope it doesn't flood out or do anything silly because this is my cousin's tractor and I feel bad.
Okay, I think it's a success. It didn't let out. It didn't goof up. It ran good. We're gonna put this together and I think I'll deliver it. <laughs>